Welcome to this Windows channel, and this is a uh, quick update to, um, uh, you know, this uh, new version of Windows 10 coming up on April the 10th for some of you, because it will start rolling out to uh, basically the general public on April 10th. Uh, answering a few questions, first of all, first question, is just speculation for April 10th? No, it's pretty much official. April the 10th will be the start of the release for Spring Creators Update, uh, version 1803, whatever you want to call it, Redstone 4. It's the next version of Windows, and it has a lot of new features that I will start to talk about tomorrow. So start looking at the videos that will be the um, basically pretty much the full review of Windows 10 Spring Creators Update. Now, on April 10th, it's going to start rolling by waves, so that means some of you will have it, some of you don't. Uh, some of you have probably seen the video that I put, a little tips and tricks video on, if you want to have it right now, which I don't, honestly, don't think it's a good idea for most people. Uh, take the time to wait for it to arrive for you. Another question that I've got, and it's people telling me, yeah, but uh, what about the media creation tool. When will that be updated? Well, the media creation tool has always been updated and that's what we expect to happen this time around on the same day of the release. So on April the 10th, sometime during the day, sometime, you know, in the afternoon or late, you know, maybe evening, you will have the media creation tool will be updated with the latest image, which will be the um, Spring Creators update. It it will be version you know build seventeen one three three dot something, and it will be um, version eighteen oh three. So if you have made your USB thumb drive or a DVD with Fall Creators update, you know every time we have a new version, that's one of the things you got to do. Update that um, bootable device, whatever it's a DVD create a new one. If it's a USB thumb drive, which is the best way, by the way, because it goes much faster. Um, on the USB thumb drive, erase what you have and create a fresh new USB thumb drive with the Spring Creators update, with the latest version. And for a very simple reason, something goes wrong, you are already at the latest version. One of the questions that I've been asked a couple of times that is, actually, you know, I never thought about it, and when I think of the question, it's not a bad question at all. It's, yeah, but what if my machine didn't upgrade yet to that new version? Should I still create that USB thumb drive? And the answer, my personal answer for that is, yeah, you should. Because even if there would be a problem and you have to reinstall from scratch, I think it's, well, you know, might as well reinstall it with the latest version, which will probably work fine anyways. You know, a lot of the glitches uh, that happen that makes, um, you know, Microsoft not send you that update. So, you know, say you're on April 10th and a week or two after you're like, well, I still don't have it. A lot of the problems, a lot of the things that prevent you from getting it are actually very minor, but they're not taking any chances. You know, since the anniversary update kind of a little mess up, they've been uh, much more cautious at what will be happening. Another question that comes to mind because you know it's what it's it's always been like that uh, since I think since Windows ninety five it's it's been well when there's a new version there's sometimes a lot of things that don't work right I want to wait can I do something to wait I did the video about it but I'll just show you guys very quickly what you could do is go into your settings and in here you can go to network and internet if you're on Ethernet click there and click your connection. If you're on Wi-Fi, Ethernet, by the way, is you have a cable plugged into your computer. If you're on Wi-Fi, click Wi-Fi and click your Wi-Fi connection. You'll see something called metered connection in that list. Turn that on. If you turn that on, it's automatic. You will still have security updates, but you will not get 
the latest version of Windows 10. You're not going to get that big chunk of what is Spring Careers update. And so that is something to know. Is it big? Well, it is a major new version. You know, what, however you want to see it, however you want to call it, when you get a new version like this, it's a major version. So yes, it's several gigabytes, you know, like three gigabytes of download. And it will, you know, take some of your internet connection. And if you're on a limited uh, data cap, yeah, it might be a problem. Once again, you can go to the metered connection and decide when you want to have it. So it's going to block it as long as you stay on metered connection. But it is going to take, uh, you know, a few gigabytes off of your data, that's for sure. Is it going to install well? Well, you know, this is a, uh, a question that I, I believe for the majority of the people, it's going to be okay. Now, the machine you see here is the one that I have graded. This was the main machine that I make 90% of all the videos on this channel. I do not update this with insider previews or anything. But today, because we know that this is the official thing, I have upgraded this machine to the latest version, which is Spring Careers Update. Well, it was really long uh, for the initialization phase and everything, but honestly, that doesn't matter really because I've been able to use it and work and do whatever I wanted while it was doing that. The install process itself took maybe 30 minutes which was quite fast and I believe faster than any other previous version of Windows 10 install, honestly. So 30 minutes was the downtime, the time that I can't use my machine. And I came back and I looked at it and said, well, you know what, install flawlessly. I have no issues except one little weird glitch here that is kind of funny because it says here, account protection dynamic lock is not working because Bluetooth is off, but the problem is, I ain't got Bluetooth in this machine, so it's kind of a weird thing, you know, it's not even a problem, it's just, what? well, I don't have Bluetooth, I shouldn't turn it on, I don't have it, you know, it's one of those weird things that sometimes happens, so, it's a very, very minor glitch, honestly, um, it doesn't prevent me from doing anything, and honestly, I've been using it for the past few hours, it works flawlessly, it works great, I've been checking the new features, like, you know, timeline, and uh, everything is just really good, really good. It's working fantastically well. So, um, you know, it gives you an idea. If uh, my machine, untested and, you know, upgraded before it might have should, you know, it might have been or it should have been, uh, it still works. It's, it works fine and I've got no glitches. And, of course, if there are something, if there's anything weird, I'll come back on this channel and, of course, talk about it. But for now... I got no problems at all with this. A uh, few driver reinstalls. So when you plug in something, you might have your computer um, installing a driver for a device, which is a little normal since we're at the new version of Windows, technically, even though it's still Windows 10. But um, you know what? Um, everything looks good and it's very positive. But once again, don't rush it. Wait for it to arrive. Uh, if you don't want it right now, do what I told you. Go to the metered connection and uh, prevent it from, you know, you, you, you can leave it like that for months before you can decide to really upgrade your system. Hey, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.